geezers and geezerettes, it's Nate from Geezer Skate. And today, with the help of my tiny dog, Chewy, we're going to be showing you best practices for installing bearings and bearing spacers into a new set of wheels using nothing but your hands and a skate tool. So check it out! In this episode, we're going to feature Superfly Speedball Bearings. I got turned on to these by my good friends at Super 8 Skates. They highly recommend them, and as you'll see here in a moment, they're going to go perfectly with the purple haze board that I'm setting up. Also a Super 8 Skates board. Some of you guys might have seen this on Instagram. So this is an eight and a half inch popsicle de deck from Super 8, uh, art by Lurkenstein. And this was the custom grip job I did on it. So my theme with all of this is I want to go purple with everything. So that's why I've got the Ace Monster Trucks, the purple people eaters, if you will, uh, 40, size 44s with the Superfly Speedball bearings that you saw. So you can see they have a nice purple center there, which I'm sure looks pretty tiny in this, in this uh, video angle. And then I've got my Speed Lab wheels. These are 60 millimeters with a 30 millimeter contact patch. Uh, if you've seen my blogs, you know my obsession with a fat contact patch. So that's what this has, a 30, a 30 millimeter contact patch. Uh, let's see, these are 60 millimeter. They're 90A, so they're a little bit on the softer side, but they're not like an 80 or 78A. So they're still, they still got some, uh, they're still a little on the harder side. So you can do, definitely do some power slides with these wheels and they'll definitely resist uh, flat spots there. And then to top it off, I'm gonna put on these quarter inch Psycho Skates uh, riser pads, just to make sure I don't get any wheel bite with these, since they, since they are a little bit on the larger size for wheels. All right, well, let's get into this. All right, so first thing you'll notice here, uh, when you take off the uh, nut here at the end of your uh, truck, there are two washers, at least Ace comes with two washers. Uh, not sure about other trucks, but for sure, Ace comes with these two washers. And so you wanna leave one washer at the back end there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bearing here and we're going to put it with the, well, it uh, looks like it can go either way. Some, some of these bearings have a specific shield side, and so you want to try to, as best as possible, put the shield side facing out. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, the Superfly Speedball uh, is the same on both sides, so you can do either way. So we're just going to slide that down right there on top of the bearing that we just put in like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our, our wheel here and so we're going to take our wheel like this and we're going to press it down onto the bearing. Like so. So then it just pops in nice in place like that. Super easy, no tools required there. Then we're gonna take another bearing. Oh, no, sorry. We're not gonna take another bearing. We're gonna take a bearing spacer. Now this is great about the Superfly bearings because they come as a complete set with the bearing spacers already in there. And so awesome thing is, is you can take the, the bearing spacer then, and then slide it, get my wheel, slide it in the wheel in between the bearings. And then what we'll do is get this back on there like that, and then take our other side, and we're gonna go through the bearing spacer, and we're gonna just pop that right in there. Boom. Nice. Didn't quite get it all the way, so let's just push a little harder. Push it 
just a little bit more here. There we go. Bingo. There we go. So now, bearings are perfectly in there with a spacer. Now, the thing with a bearing spacer is this will save your wheel uh, as well as your bearings uh, from riding funny. So then we're going to just take that right there like that. Then we're going to place our nut back on. And then you'll take that, place our nut back on like that. And then we'll just do the remaining wheels like that. One, one of the reasons we start with the uh, front, uh, the bearing that sticks out first is, is so that you can, when you flip it over, you, your wheel is done, you're ready to go. So thanks for watching, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell which will let you know exactly when our latest videos drop and then while you're at it leave us a comment, let us know what you liked about this, what you didn't like about it, and maybe what you'd like to see in a future video. Until then, keep skating, stop aging, we'll see ya.